Cutie is not cooking anything today. Nope, not today. Cutie is going to clean this stove. What to do first? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start taking the stove apart, and that way you can see if you never clean your stove and you don't know how to take it apart, Cutie's going to show you. That. I had started cleaning the stove already, and I put the two products on it and let it soak, and it soaked for like two hours. But somebody came on to cook something and mess my stuff up. So I had to start all over. So I was like, you know what? Let me just start from the beginning. So I still got some stuff on it. I ain't take it up. I still got stuff on it. Let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and break it down. I'm gonna start with the first eye. So what you do, you take and you just pull it out. And then you take this part and you pull it out. And see, I had already started and I had put the products down They've been soaking for a long time now because I had intentions on cleaning them way earlier. And I'm gonna tell you what those two products are. I got a smaller burner. You just take it out, lift this up. Then have these two, pull it out. Take it up. Do the same with this one. Snap it out. And just take it up. All right, so see, I had already started to clean the stove. Then somebody wanted to interrupt me, but now I clean my stove every day. Wipe it down and everything, but grease get in it and all that. And I just say, you know what? Let me just, let me just save it. So, okay, this hot, this, this the stove. This the stove, but we, guess what? It ain't gonna look like this when we get finished with it. Don't worry about no oven cleaner or nothing like that. Stove cleaner. Don't worry about no stove cleaner, oven cleaner, nothing like that. Two products. I know you I know you got one if you don't have the oven. So we're going to use, we're gonna use some done dishwashing liquid and some Clorox bleach. You need these two items. All right, like I said, what you do is, and you go around it just like this, just like this. Then you just go around it, put it in the inside, just like this. Then you do the same thing to this side. You just take your done and you go around it like this, like this. So we have it like that, right? Then open our bleach and we're gonna pour a cap full, okay? After we pour our cap full of bleach, then, and we're just gonna go around just like this. We're gonna do that to each one. And just fill the cap up. Fill the cap up with bleach. Shake. And we just put it around like that. And we do that on each one. my stove every night. I wipe it all down and, you know, lift it up. But, you know, I don't know. I don't even know. But all I know is the stove going to be clean today. Because, see, we are about to clean this stove. Y'all ready to clean this stove? You put your Dawn on first. Go around. Then after you put your Dawn, you get your bleach. You get your Clorox bleach. You take the top off and you fill the cap up and you just go around. Let it sit. Just do that. Let it sit. Don't touch it or anything. Let it sit for at least, because mine have been sitting so long. So I'm going to say, let it sit for about two, about two hours, depending on, on how clean you need yours. So I'm going to say two hours, only because mine have been sitting a long time. So I don't know. But since it's been sitting a long time, I'm going to go ahead and show you all how easy it is. Using these two products, using the Dawn and Clorox, how clean your stove is going to be. I'm going to go ahead and wet my towel. I'm going to stick it in the microwave so it can get real hot. Then I'm just going to take and wipe it. Put your Dawn down. Put your bleach down. Let it sit for about two hours. Get you a towel, wet it, pop it in your microwave for about a minute, take it out, and just wipe it. Let me show you. See the steam? 
This is the towel. So I just took the towel out the microwave. One minute, that's all you need because you want it to be real, real steaming. Hot. So let me show you my first burner, right? So I'm gonna take the hot towel and we're gonna clean the inside too. I'm gonna show you how to clean the inside as well. And all you do, you take, yep. Then if you need to, guess what? Actually, what you do, take the same towel, you just go around and look, you just wipe it. And the grease comes off. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Going around like this. This towel still soapy. Look. And it just comes on. If it's you know, if it's not a lot of grease that's been on there, it'll just wipe off. So just wipes off. You know, just get your brush. Yeah, see, I'm about to clean it all up. See how? Now I scratch my I scratch my stove up. So I found my brush. Dawn and Clorox. That's it. A hot towel. Don't use your scrub. Don't use this. Don't use one nothing like this. Cause I did, and I scratched my stove up a little bit more. But that's neither here nor there. All right. So I'm wiping it all down now. And you just take your towel. And go in the inside like this to clean that. Wipe around it. Take your towel, go in the inside. And wipe it. So I'm just going to take my paper towel, go in the inside, and wipe it. Wipe it down. Oh, Lord. She don't be doing no work. Oh, Lord, but today she did. But the stove look good, oh. though. Cutie don't do no work like this. Cutie sweating. Whew. Oh, my gosh. But we did a good job, though, right? Done and Clorox. That's all you need. That's all you need. And you might need a little brush, though. Because if yours, you know, you got a little few... Look hard, tough, uh, hard, stubborn stains. Get your brush. Don't use that scraper like I was using, scraping up my stove. So, yeah, get your brush. But I think it came out pretty good. Yep, done. It's done down first. Then fill your cap with bleach. Put it. Let it sit two hours. And then if you need to, just go back and add some more done and some more bleach. Let it sit for a little while longer if yours is, you know, if your stains are, you know, kind of stubborn. If you got stubborn stains on your stove, just use a little bit more done and some bleach. And get your brush if you need. I'm gonna put the towel in that microwave for a minute. It's, it's gonna be steaming. Put on the glove, it's gonna be hot because it might burn you, okay? Tape, wipe it all down and everything like that. Yeah. Now I'm about to put the uh, burners, clean them, and put them back in there. Uh, woo. Woo. Oh, cutie just don't be working like this. Mm -mm. I am perspiring. I feel like I went to the gym. My trainer was like, you, you, you slipping on the gym? I'm like, I know, but I got to see him know I worked out. I worked out, I'm just sweating, I'm just perspiring and everything. But it's okay, it's okay. Ooh, I just wanna show y'all an easy way to clean your stove on top. Now I got some more cleaning cleaning ideas, okay? Some more cleaning ideas, so get ready because we need to clean our house for the summer. Y'all give yourself a hand clap. 
for cleaning. Oh my gosh, we did a fantastic job today. So take this time, give yourself a hand clap, get you some Dawn dishwashing liquid if you don't have any, get you some Clorox. Look how clean it is. Yup, we did a good job. 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 Yes, we did. We did a good job.